college students turning to, wait for it, adulting classes. Joining us now, Peter Marisi, Professor Emeritus of Economics at the University of Maryland. Shouldn't parents be doing this? Shouldn't parents teach their kids how to parent, not the university? What do you say? Well, certainly parents should provide an example with regard to parenting, but let's talk about more basic stuff. How to manage your credit card, how to balance your checkbook, things like that. My mother sat me down in my senior year and showed me how to do those things. The kids, when they arrive, should be able to do those things. Can they? I don't think so. I mean, look at how they're ladling on all that debt. What's more, the very first people that they encounter at universities are carnival barkers and hucksters. They're the people in the admissions office that tell them that majoring in foreign languages and art history will lead to meaningful careers, and they should borrow 60, 70, 80, 100 thousand dollars a year to do it. Is it any wonder we have about a third of our college students can't do the work? If they can't do college work. They can't navigate the system. We have to assign them nannies to register. And, you know, I was handed a catalog. Here, figure it out, Peter. They can't do those things. Mm -hmm. Is it any surprise that they can't, you know, do basic things like manage a household where they pay rent and have to have a budget? I just remember my first day at college. A yeah. professor of law stood up in front of the old incoming class and said, Hands up, any of you people live at home? This was in London, college in London. Few hands went up, and the professor said, leave. You're at university. You're an adult. Get on with it. You're not supposed to live at home. Now, you could not say that today. You would not be allowed to say that today. I was almost crucified when I was a faculty senator. That's a bit of an exaggeration. But the university said, we have too big a dropout rate. Therefore, we want to assign every student a mentor or a counselor to lead them through the process. And I got up at the faculty senate and said, no. Part of our education is learning to navigate a bureaucracy because they'll have to navigate one outside. So we don't want to over nanny them or we'll have incompetent adults at the other end. And they, they just glazed over. He says, but too many of our students are dropping out. I said, that's because you're admitting the wrong people. You know, if you have lax admission standards or if you really are too much into social justice and we're all the rest of that nonsense, you're going to have incompetent students. Instead of focusing on competency, you're focusing on other issues and now you lead them through the process and you put them out the door and what you have are people who are not capable of succeeding. That just didn't rhyme with them. Are things going to change, Peter? Because they really yeah. need to. Actually, they are going to change because young people are starting to become, to starting to recognize and you're seeing articles about it. Don't listen to your parents, don't listen to college counselors when it comes to student loans. Well, don't listen to them when it comes to buying a house. The Wall Street Journal ran an article about that last week. They're starting to learn that they're getting bad advice from adults who are using them. The Fagans of America are running America's universities. University tuition is up much, much more than, say, health care costs. Yep. Much more yep. over the last 20 years. It, it's incredible. And as a consequence, what they're doing is ladling these kids in debt so they continue to enjoy their costed lifestyle and sinecures. They're starting to learn that the real people to be suspicious of are the people that are selling the sports bill of goods. Now, you don't see that on TV. You don't see it on MSNBC because they put on the students who talk about white tears and social justice and all the crimes of the world. Most students want to go to school to learn a skill to get educated, and they're starting to learn that the people that are advising them on campus are not the ones that should be listening. They should be listening to. Instead of having adulting classes on campuses, give me all of America's university presidents and provosts, and I'll put them in a room and give them a seminar seminar on honesty lessons. Yeah.